It is my understanding, limited as it may be, that from roughly about 67 to 89, uh, what they want to call uh, indigo babies and souls were being born. The indigo children were those that had been killed, maimed, horribly slaughtered in wars. They were anxious to come back and get it on to do something about it. They came back to fight or flight. Flight meant they would take somebody else out with them or they're going to fight. They came back to get it off. What did they do? The draconic souls who operate on a higher frequency in the main, the fourth dimension, knew this was going to happen. So they set traps for those souls. And when they came in and they knew they were here to fight them, they made them think they were supposed to fight an enemy over in Vietnam, an enemy over in Korea, an enemy in the Persian Gulf. Give them false analogies as to reasons for that to happen. And then they went off and they did what they wanted to fight. But they did not fight their enemy. They fight somebody that their enemy told them to go fight. Never realizing the mistake they made. And then, and I know people are out of the hip hop, hip -hop guys are going to get pissed at this. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you know, they even fought the air. Talking back. Sure, when you have venom and unqualified channel energy to release, you would do it that way. But what are you doing? You're fighting the spirits of the air around you, the sylphs. You're fighting your own inner consciousness. You're fighting your own animal instinct and the animal brain that they put these on these bodies. What are you fighting? Why are you so angry? Directed anger can be much better used than through physical uses of it. That's what you call focused thought, whether it be for good or bad, it still works. But that way, they then put them in uniforms, told them they were all one, go fight a common enemy. The enemy was unseen, but they gave you a mortal enemy to fight. Now, that's past now. Because you see, you had those from those other empires being born into different bodies, and they had to told the same thing. So then they had you fighting each other, like children under reptilian control, and that's what we were. Now, you're having crystals being born. Whole different ball game now. The planet is going to a higher frequency. So now these crystals can come in. They weren't fixing to come back in there because they're advanced souls. Now with these crystals, they're born with eyes wide open, with spines erect, they're born with knowledge and understanding and wisdom. They can work with animals and insects. They can work with vibrations of the air. They can work with fire, water, all the elements. And they can even work with the mothers while in the womb and the fathers out of the womb. They are a very advanced type of people. They're not here with hate. They're here to understand what makes for hate and how to change it to love. These are the children that now will be given the energies and powers that we say we want but don't qualify for by our very actions. What are they doing to them? Try to give them seven shots at birth, including hepatitis C. Try to give them booster shots. Give them all the farming, pharmaceutical P H A R M. Okay, seven thousand um, pharmaceutical things in Merck's index, United States Defense Area of Pharmaceutical Medicine. Give them all these drugs to lower their vibration, and even still, give them half a chance. Their metabolism is such they will still try to get rid of those drugs. And what it's doing is slowing down the inevitable. The planet is going upward. These souls are coming in are already in higher vibration. They will either help or when they come together and really hinder, you haven't seen death and destruction yet. Not that they're killers, but they will bring forth through them the consciousness of higher authority which will not set. You can't live one minute when this planet is going to the fifth dimension and you hold an evil thought. You automatically killed yourself or allow that to come in at will. So it's a change now in matter, in time and in space. It's a change in consciousness, a change in subconsciousness, and a change in ultra consciousness. It means that now these souls and through us if we if, and through them if we will listen to them, we can begin to do while even in the flesh higher things, not making the mistake of stepping backwards because the child shall lead them, as it is many of our mothers and fathers now.